Welcome back to Extremely Annoyed. It's your boy, Ben, to be a fun of the box. I just got to say a little pause of prick, and I'm sure you guys already knew that, but I want to reiterate that, just in case you forgot. Logan Paul's a freaking prick. You know when Jake Paul was fighting Mike Tyson? You remember that? Um, it was like uh, three days ago, I think. And when he was announced the winner, the same way Rocky Balboa is announced a winner in those fictional movies, um, meaning... The whole thing was obviously scripted, is what I'm saying. But anyway, the point here is, Logan Paul did this. Come here. Why would you do that, Logan? To your own brother, in one of the biggest nights of his life, why would you do that? Why would you deliberately try to embarrass your brother? It doesn't make sense to me. And obviously, he's deliberate. He hates his brother so much. I'm talking about... Actually, bro, this is not a joke. He really hates his brother. He's so jealous and it's such a fucking transparent shit. Everybody sees it. Like Jay <laughs> Logan Paul is jealous of Jake Paul's success. Yeah, right. And I'll always believe in, in Jake and have your back, but that one in particular, you being the world champ in boxing, is really hard for me to wrap my head around. I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. But I believe I, in, I, I, I believe in him too. I believe in him too. <laughs> But that one, not even a but. I'm just like, it is crazy. <sighs> it definitely is crazy. And right, because you know, here's the thing. I don't know if you guys heard about this. A while back, Logan actually slept with Jake Paul's girlfriend. Believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, real thing. Look it up. Uh, Alisa Violet Pookie. Who is? Who is Pookie? Who is Pookie? <laughs> Come on. That's a great Come on. Answer the question. I gotta leave it a mystery. It's no fun. No, no. Come give on. us a little hint. I gotta leave it a mystery. Give a little, little hint. Little okay, hint. he's got black hair and he's got the longest eyelashes you'd ever Hello. see. Hello. Okay, well, so who, who was he to you? Uh, uh, it was just a situation ship, but... A uh, situation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, Shane Dawson, and I'm sure, you know, probably a lot of you are just cringe whenever you hear that name because it's like very controversial because isn't he like a didn't like uh did he like finger bang his cat or something he made a documentary trying to analyze jake paul's mind and trying to insinuate that jake paul is somehow the psych psychopath he got the wrong brother in my opinion personally i went from like man i think jake could really hurt him to like fuck him he hit my brother <clears throat> yeah people thought my comment was disrespectful they were saying Motherfucker, so disrespectful. How dare he talk to Mike like that? What do you mean? Some guy, like this dude just said he wanted to fight me. what I do? I, yeah. Leave me out of it. Will be the last time for you? I don't think so. You've got more in you. Oh, Who comes to mind? Well, we don't, I don't know. Maybe his brother. You want to fight Logan? Logan, I think he said you might be next. I'll kill you, Mike. No, oh, please. No, no, no. It's on then. I'd say the, the real Logan Paul looks very different. Did you come all over here to ask about how I look? Is Logan coming? We've been investigating the influencer Logan Paul's promotion of cryptocurrencies. But when we booked an interview, he sent a lookalike and trolled us. I wanted to ask about allegations from critics who say he made personal gains by misleading his fans about crypto. For this, he denies any wrongdoing. Our investigation looked at an anonymous crypto account with close links to Logan Paul. In 2021, at the height of his interest in crypto, he posted about an Elon Musk-themed meme coin. What he didn't say is that he may have been a secret holder of the token. We noticed the anonymous account was first funded by Logan Paul's public crypto account, then from his fan club's NFT project, and it purchased a large amount of the coin. Moments before the tweet, it bought almost $160,000 worth. When the market peaked 12 hours later, it sold its holding at roughly $120,000 profit. Shortly afterwards, the price crashed. So it appears an account with close connections to Logan Paul made a lot of money from that tweet by buying directly before and selling after. There are still questions around Logan Paul's crypto activities, and with a class action claim filed for his failed CryptoZoo project, the allegations around Paul exploiting his significant platform to promote cryptocurrency continue to mount. Logan Paul has consistently denied any wrongdoing and blames other team members for the failure of the CryptoZoo project. Logan Paul is obviously the problematic one, the sociopath, the psychopath even. You know, the, he's without empathy. 
I don't believe he has any empathy or emotion. You know, we know what happened in uh, Suicide Forest in, uh, in New Jersey. I mean, not New Jersey, Jamaica, Japan. Yes, I knew it was something with a J for sure. He a uh, video talker, uh, video ta he took a video of a dead person that committed suicide in a suicide forest and joked about it. And I made a video. I don't remember what the name or the title of the video is, but I did make a video to try to defend Logan saying something like, you don't really know what the, what the, how you're going to react. You don't know how you're going to react in situations like that. People uh, tend to be weird around even the idea of death. I was trying to defend them like that, but then you realize that this man just tased a rat that's dead for no freaking reason. You know, he slept with his brother's girlfriend, right? He he tries in any chance he gets to humiliate his brother, right? You know, he married a woman that slept with half of the world's population. You know what I'm saying? No offense to her, but anybody that decides to marry a woman like that, how is it not a person without emotion or feeling or any type of integrity or respect for themselves? You know, like, am I wrong? Anyway, um, Logan Paul said this. Uh, you definitely sniped the Nate Diaz fight for me, and I've been so lenient in giving you your <laughs> opponents. And I think it's but my... it's not wait it's not your option to give me my opponents. <laughs> so it's not your option to like give me my fights. It, that me and Nate Diaz have been talking about that for years, and then you popped up and were like, "No, now it's my turn. I want that fight." And then start talking shit, and then try to like get the fight at in Saudi Arabia, like on the microphone and like trying to like jump in on all of these things. I think I'm better than you, and I think Nate chose you for a reason, and I think everyone knows that. Like why, you know, why would you do that? You know, he's just like, I'm talking about envious, envious piece of shit. Really jealous, really, really jealous. Just absolutely hating on his little brother, Jake. My voice is changing because I just got bored of this video. I hope you enjoyed whatever this was. And I'm going to go to sleep because it's definitely late. I'm not using it as an excuse. It's late. I'm going. I'm leaving. Just leave me alone. Just, just stop.